about to check in, get drug tested, and do my spray tan. And then I'm going to just relax, get a good night's sleep, and do the show. A few moments later. Alright, so I'm going to give you a little breakdown of my nutrition the day before my show. So I posted this picture of me eating at a Panda Express. As you can see, it's a massive amount of food. It's 1170 calories, something like that. My buddy Craig says, are you eating this now? He's a fellow competitor. And I said, yes sir. So why am I eating a huge meal? Because, I don't know if you knew this, but back in the day Arnold would go out to eat and he would eat a ton like right before his show and part of it was to mess with his competitors but the other part was just the lower cortisol levels and I've talked to people, i talked to a coach that has actually coached like six different shows and he talks about how cortisol is so important so it's a good, it's a good idea to take a diet break uh, right before the show because it lowers cortisol or at least that's the hope so I feel really relaxed I had a massage today too so I'm going to finish up the day with my protein pancakes uh, I'm gonna have one rice cake and I'm gonna have a cup because I don't have a bowl a cup of uh, cream of wheat so and that's gonna do it for today's macros I'm keeping it under my maintenance or right about maintenance I guess what will be calibrated for right now um, around 2700 calories keeping my carbs really high around 350 and my fats really low around 60 uh, low ish so um, I am holding off on the Powerade for today I may drink this throughout the day tomorrow but I will be drinking uh, you know more sodium especially Pedialyte before the show so that's gonna do it for me as far as nutrition and then perhaps after prejudging I'll have like a burger or um, something of that nature so yeah man so uh, I'll see you guys at the show alright so this is the tan first coat of Friday my abs are visible enough so just got one more coat in the morning then we do the thing wow. So one of my pro tips for sleeping at night is to get some bed sheets, as you can see. Also, if you take a closer look, I have a white noise maker on the lamp post, on the, on the lamp table. And I have rice cakes. And since we don't have a bowl, we're going to use this cup for our cream of wheat. Now, for um, the morning, I'll show you what I'm going to eat for breakfast. So we have a turkey gyro, or euro, however you pronounce it, from Arby's, and that's going to be for the morning show. And that's going to be quite a bit of sodium and fat, and it just tastes good, and it's got a lot of carbs too. So I'm going to heat that up. For now, it gets away. So I just went to the bank because half of my spray tan was paid for but the other half was not. So I had to go make a run before it rained like it does in the spring in Georgia. You have these light showers in the late, after, late evening. And so I'm done with the spray tan, done with the check-in. Everything is good to go for the morning. 3.28 a.m. officially show day and I woke up around four o'clock because people keep slamming their doors. Um, so yeah. I usually ask for a door that is far away from the elevator for a reason. But didn't help anyway. So everybody's getting up really early so I might as well get up too. So I'm making some coffee and um, I may go downstairs and eat a little bit of eggs breakfast because I realized that I probably won't step on stage till about 11 o'clock because I'm number 72 out of 90 
So that means I won't eat my Arby sandwich till about 9 o'clock. So that means I have another 5 hours until I eat that. So I'm going to eat some breakfast now while I can. And yeah. I'll see you. Um, so I just want to show you my tan now. Um, I decided I'm, I'm not going to wash it off because I like the, the color of it. I, I don't think it needs to be any lighter. It looks, looks great. Uh, I'm also going to show up for retouches. So yeah. Six and a half hours later. One minute, thirty seven seconds later. guys so after the uh, pre-judging I went to IHOP with some of the competitors and we enjoyed as you will see we ate um, pancakes I had a southwestern omelet with a southwestern scramble and it was good and then after that I went to the movie theater and I went to go see um, Shazam which I saw for the second time but it's the only good movie out right now. I mean, Captain Marvel was pretty good, but I like Shazam. It was, it was funny. So I saw that. And not a whole lot to report. Um, I feel like I did well in the prejudging. I think I got, if I could guess, I'm in the top three. I don't really know. But um, they switched me around once. I just don't know if my conditioning was there, but we'll see. I don't know. I did a really good job of pumping up. I had enough time to um, get a glaze and pump up and take my pre-workout and my pre-workout snack, which was a rice cake with honey. Uh, I did not get a chance to eat my Reese's, so I'm going to eat that at finals right before. And I was a little bit, I think I drank a little bit too much because I was a little bit jostled in the stomach and uh, so I'm going to try to eliminate as much liquids as possible and I also had a Sour Patch watermelon at the movie theater um, did not go for popcorn this time but hey I mean you got nothing else to do and you're in an unfamiliar town check out your hotel early best thing to do is just go see a movie it waste three hours it's a lot cheaper than Results are coming to you next.